What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just want to give a little update yet. Uh, I am not on character 700 yet. However, that will be my next like big update video, and we'll talk about that. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about a little bit of stuff, where I'm at, how the month has been going. So if you'll remember, um, the last video I made was talking about taking Shama around here, and then we had the hurricane, which put me out a little bit. And then I ended up just taking just a little bit of a break, um, maybe a week or so. And then I got back into it, and I've kind of come away with that, realizing that people like to villainize breaks, like, oh, if you're not doing it every day, you're a failure, you whatever. But, like, honestly, I've come back, and, like, some of the stuff I was struggling with, and it happens every time. I don't know why I act like this is, like, a crazy thing. But, like, some of the stuff, like, sample sentences that I would see, for, for example... Um, that I just could not grasp. Like I just get, it, it's like kind of taking that little bit of time off really kind of helped solidify and like just make things stick in my brain. And for that, I feel great. So I just want to say like, if you're, if you're contemplating it, like, Oh, I don't want to lose anything. Yada, yada, yada. If you take a couple days, I mean, maybe a week, uh, a week's probably pushing. I probably shouldn't have taken as long a break with the week in that I did, but I have been back to it for a couple weeks now, three weeks, whatever it is. Um, but I, I would be careful cause it is easy to fall into habits of not getting, and I'm one for that. You can watch my channel. You can literally go back and see where I've talked about taking breaks and then I just never get back into anything. So, um, but I have a lot of motivation for Chinese. I love Chinese. I love the Mandarin blueprint community. I'm over here hanging out on the Mandarin blueprint community all the time, which helps. Um, and that really keeps me motivated. And then of course, seeing Chinese, if I'm watching a TV show or something and like, cause like China, Chinese influence in American culture starting to become more and more prevalent. Like you'll see Chinese in shows and stuff, not a lot, but just a little bit. And when you hear something and you pick it up, it's just really, really motivating. So, but anyway, today I just want to talk about kind of a little bit of what I've been going through the last month, a little bit of change of study in the way that I'm doing things because of the way that the Mandarin blueprint course in the intermediate section is laid out, which is where I'm at is right here in the, yeah. And just the intermediate course. And so, like I said, I'm on character 680, which is good. Now, um, flashcard wise, I've started doing a little bit different. Now I'm still writing. I still have my notebook. This is the current page that I'm on, but I still have my notebook of just like pages and pay. I mean, you can see just the thick and the pages and pages of written Chinese. And I'm still doing that. And I still stand firm that I think that that is a good thing. Now, do you need to write as much as I do? I don't know. Um, I'm borderline kind of convinced that while it is helping, it's also a little bit of a waste of time. Once I've written the character 50 times, like it just seems like, because I'm not in a situation where I need to know how to write Chinese. But what I will say is writing it out, the hand-eye coordination, taking the time, because as you write it out, you're really studying that character piece by piece. And so as you're writing it, it really helps solidify that in my brain. I stand firm that writing is good. Even if you just write it a couple times as you're learning it, maybe the first time or two that you're doing your flashcards, I, I personally love it. Obviously do what works for you. There's a lot of people that think it's a waste of time. I've had comments who are like, I couldn't imagine wasting time on that. But also I think that that's why my Chinese is as comprehensible as it is in terms of me being able to understand um, is knowing the characters. Now, with that being said, obviously knowing how to read them is a way more important than knowing how to write them. Uh, I just think that it kind of solidifies that in my brain. So um, one thing uh, that I have started doing is coming through here, um, I don't worry about hitting a certain amount of characters per day, right? Like, so when I come in here, 675 through 680, I'm not saying, okay, I've got to learn this character right here, which I, I know my mouse doesn't show up, but... The character at the top here, right? This one, I know that I don't have to learn. So I don't have to learn that character. I don't have to learn this one. 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 I don't have to learn all these characters. I don't have to learn 10 of them. What I've been doing instead is I learn the character and then how many words it is. And I'll learn 10. And honestly, if there's some easier words, then I might learn a little bit more. But I will learn... 10 words a day. Um, and it's a little bit easier to do that because on the Mandarin blueprint traverse, they no longer give you vocabulary words. As you'll see here, it's literally the character. And then if it's a prop, 
character, 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 prop, character, character. You just learn the characters. They do not give you the vocabulary words as flashcards. Some people like this. Personally, I don't. Um, I like having cards. So what I've done is I will choose. So I'll learn this character, right? This right here. Woo, refrain. Okay, woo, refrain. One word. So what I'll do is I'll open up Playco, type the card in, add it to my list, and then I'll move to the next character. So then right here, boom, woo, again, right? Matter is in physics. <clears throat> so from this, we've learned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. So I will put these seven words in. So that puts me at eight words for the day if you count the other character from this. Both of them are pronounced woo. Um, they just mean different things, right? Uh, so we've got Ren Wu, person in literature or character. Okay, great. And then you just keep going on and on and on, and you learn all these. Sheng Wu, biology, right? You just keep going on. Yu Ai Yu. Yu Ai Wu, right? Pharmaceuticals, materials, medicine, drugs, that kind of thing. So I'll add these words to my vocabulary list <coughs> in... Playco. And then on Playco, I will actually train them as recall words. I will have the English and I will recall them. And of course, in Playco, there's sample sentences and stuff like that. And of course, on here, I will also go through the sentences. Um, I should have thought about this before I had it up. But of course, over here, you've got the sentences for words. Uh, and so I will listen to them, right? Boom. I'll listen to it, see if I understand it, carry on, whatever the case may be. Um, but I've learned that. So then I would be, for example, if this was today, I would have been, this would be eight words. So then I say, okay, eight words, I can go on to the next one. I can see that the next one right here, if I look over two sections down from where I'm currently at, I can see that there's two words. So I'll learn the character. This is Yi, which is easy. So I'll come over here. Boom. And I'll learn these two words as well. And then I'm at 10 for the day. So that means I learned three characters for the day. Um, but I learned 10 words. Now, the other thing that this is doing, and the reason that I do this is because instead of having that flashcard on Traverse, seeing it the one time and carrying on, well, I, I've got this flashcard twice that I'm going to see to reinforce this character on top of, you know, obviously this other uh, character as well. And so... To me, that is incredibly helpful. Um, I've learned three new characters. It's easier to keep up with. I don't have to worry about doing that with 10 different characters. Because I know people have, are really set up on this 10 characters a day thing. And I guess you could argue, like, well, you're doing 10 words a day. But like, uh, but with 10 characters, like, because you have to understand, too, when you learn a character, you're unlocking a ton of vocabulary. So... I do that. I get the, the repeated vocabulary word. Now, if it's something incredibly easy, I may add more than 10 words. Like if it's something that just makes sense, like if it's like a, I don't know, a marker that would indicate something like, I wish I had an example. This is what happens when you make videos on the fly. But like if it was a word, uh, just, just as an example, if I was learning men for like plural I wouldn't, I wouldn't count woman, tamen, 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 which is going to be he, she, and they, right? Or it, them, those, whatever you want to say. Uh, I wouldn't learn that all three of those and count those as like four different words uh, because that's just such an obvious indicator. So I would probably have those cards, but then I would add additional cards to it. So you can obviously get a feel for it and do what, what is comfortable with you. It obviously is very dependent upon the situation. Um, and honestly, if I was down here and I was towards the end of a lesson, right? And I was like, oh man, there's only three more words left. I've learned 10 words. Some of these are a little bit really self-explanatory. So uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and add these because this will be, you know, the next lesson will be two words. So that'll be 12. And then it looks like this one will be one so that'll be 13. So yeah, let's just do that. And that's what I'll do. And that has helped a lot. Because I love Traverse. I do think it's great. And I love to write the characters. But with it not having over here on the side, with it only having, you know, just the characters, it can make it a little bit difficult to, to get into. Or to, to study, I should say. So... The other thing that I'm doing is going back and going through, let me get back here, is going through some of, like, one. the next thing that I'll be doing is going through this right here, the stories unlocked. Now, 
you can, this is really cool. They actually have, uh, if you click through, it's a tracking one, so you can you can play. I'm not going to show a lot of this. Obviously, this is paid material, but just for the sake of my video. Right, so you can click the sentence. 同事的父亲, yeah, so you can click the sentence, and it'll directly go there if you want to inherently. 听听音乐. 听听音乐. Um, which would also be good for shadowing, right? Like, 休息休息. 休息休息. So you can do that. But the thing that I like about this, and that I'm going to start doing, is if you start watching Welcome this... Welcome to the next top-down words here. So it's right. Like, so I'm not going to play a whole lot of that because, again, paid material. Uh, in this specific video, of Phil, I don't know if Phil does all these, but Phil is going through that dialogue line by line, breaking it down, which, again, to just help better understand. And that's something that I'm going to be going through. I've actually not done a lot of those. I've just been getting a ton of words kind of in my brain. So I need to honestly spend time um, on that, which is which is perfectly fine. But um, that is kind of where I'm at Mandarin blueprint wise. Uh, still going through. I am currently character 680. So the next 10 that I'll have, obviously. And just to give you an example. So if you look here, uh, level 40, six, uh, 681 through 690. So we're going to make a movie. So this is a character right here, which I'm assuming will be a character that comes up later on and used. Right? Make a movie, make a movie. Is that not the same character? I can't see. Oh, no, it's not. This is the tree component. This is the hand component. Okay. Um, and I will zoom in a lot like that because my eyes are terrible. So anyway, this character right here you'll learn. I don't know if I'll even make a flashcard of this outside of the Traverse platform because it's the character. And then right here. So what we'll do is we'll do this character. We'll learn this character. And then I'll learn these two words that go with it. So that's going to be two words. So then I'll learn this character, right? And then I'll learn these four words that go with it. So now we're at six. And then I'll learn this character. And then we'll learn these five words that go with it. And we'll be at 11, right? Vocab boost is characters from the beginner course that are just combined to make words. I need to go through those two. I do read the sentences, but I need to go through and, and just pick out certain words that I think may be beneficial to me and make flashcards of them. Um, and so that'll be that'll be 11 words. And then I can kind of come down here and see, again, if something in there is just a word that makes a lot of sense, then I will just carry on. Right? Like, what what is what does this character specifically mean? Right? So we've got to hoist. Okay. So that might not be something that's overly developer carry praise or command. Okay, so we're yeah, okay, yeah, interesting. Um, so if there's something that's a little bit easier to understand, then I may do it. Like if it's a, if it's like a, a specific concept, uh, this one's support. So I don't know. It, it may not be the case on this one to support. Stand back. Hmm. P. Okay. P. Uh, to hold support. To support have. Support having something holds like you're supporting it. That's the way I'd make that make sense. To preside over a chair. So anyway, that's how I do that. I know I know I just rambled for a lot, and that's probably not interesting to some people. But um, and that is the way that I would do that. So it'd be three to four characters learned, and then it looks like once you get down here, it looks like there's several just make a movies. So like yeah, for example, this one right here, make a movie. It looks like there's one vocabulary word for this so ah, we've had 11 words i might as well i might go ahead and just put a 12th word in there just to see and that's how i do the cards and then like i said within within playco i have um i'll look the card up boom i'll add it to my uh I have a Mandarin Blueprint deck. You probably can't see because the camera's super, super small, but I have a Mandarin Blueprint deck and also have a Mandarin Blueprint to add. And so I have my lookups and I'll move them to the Mandarin Blueprint to add. That way I have a bank of cards and then I'll go through and I'll do my reviews and then I'll add 10 cards to the Mandarin Blueprint deck right here. And I will have the word shown in English. See if I can repeat it because I want to recall. I want to be able to speak and we will study that way. So that is where I'm at. Um, I've not been reading as much um, content-wise, watching-wise. I've still been watching a little bit of um, Lazy Chinese. I do need to get better about that. I am reading those stories. Um, I, I still I haven't used Link a lot, and I really like Link. But to be fair, while I do think that reading is good, like 
reading is still different. People don't speak, even if you read a book in English, right? It's not a lot of times how people speak. And my focus is to be able to understood spoken Mandarin Chinese with people. Obviously, being able to pick up dialects and stuff is going to be really tough. And I'm not talking like Fuzhouni, Shanghaiese, you know, Taishanese, stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, like being able to understand the difference in like British English to American English kind of thing, where I'm understanding the way that people talk, because I think that's going to be difficult. And so my focus is I just need to get a plethora of content into my brain studying this language now that I have, you know, almost 700 words um, that I, or uh, I'm sorry, almost 700 characters. And I think that is going to be the beneficial aspect for me is just seeing a ton of content that is spoken content. I know uh, Mandarin Click does a lot of street interviews, so I want to watch that stuff. Because even scripted content sometimes, I mean, how many times have you watched um, something in your native language and been like, that just doesn't sound natural. Ah, the dialogue's really cringy. You know, you got to... You got to be careful. So, and that is, that is my focus is to be able to see real conversation. So I have to really specifically target, um, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up or I'll ramble forever. That is where we're at. I may have a couple videos before my 700 character update, but if not, I'll have my 700 character update, um, you know, semi shortly, I guess. Um, but that is where I'm at. I just wanted to give an update. It's been a minute. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.